So what's up guys? Miles back with another video. I'm in the kitchen again with this video, right? I got to stand up, tired of sitting down, so I want to give you guys something new. But today is going to be an interesting topic, right? I feel like it is, and I feel like it's going to bring you guys a whole bunch of value and maybe some questions that you guys may have about certain stuff, right? So, some people only respect certain things, right? No one person is the same, right? Now, Miles, what are you talking about? Like, what is, what is this whole thing, right? Well, if you're, see, I feel like if I was a professor in college, I'd probably be a sociologist, right? Because I don't know what it is about observing people and seeing behavior and observing different behavior that is extremely interesting to me, right? And these are some things that I've picked up or that I see that maybe you don't see or things that you maybe you see but don't really look into, right? And, or maybe you're looking into it but you can't find the answers, right? So interacting and going to social places and observing people and you know, observing how what people respond to, what they don't respond to, um, is very interesting to me, right? So it's like a social contract, a social game being played at all times when it comes to people, right? Now, depending on if you're extroverted or introverted, right? I'm a person that likes to sit back and reflect on stuff. So after I go out somewhere, I'll reflect on it, right? And once you get good at it, You'll see it in real time, right? But it takes a while to get there, right? You know, it's, it's kind of like whenever you're getting a roasting battle and somebody roasts you, but you can't think of nothing right then. But once you go back home, you got 10 things you could have said that oust their whole um, thing. It's kind of like with this, right? Learning the social games of people, right? Now, different postures, different presentations, tones of voice per, like appearances all these things how you act how you walk how you talk all these things play into fact or play into how the social game is played right and so when i say some people only respect this um I, what i'm referring to and i'm going to talk about this in a um short as well is the fire and ice concept this is i've my own personal thing I came up with. I only, it's just something I came up with, right? On the spot. So if you know what fire is, that's your anger, right? The things, the frustrations, um, the things that make you mad, anger you, um, that make you lash out, want to fight, right? Ice is the more calm, collected, smooth form of, you know, being social, right? So, in this world we live in, right, I found out that you have to develop both, right? This is not a whole one-sided thing where you can just fire. As I was saying before my uh, camera shut off, in the world we live in, right, you must, you must develop the fire and the ice side, right? The fire being the, the anger side. I used to be in the more calmer side, right? So if you're a person like me, right, you observe this, right? Some people respond well to the fire side. Some people do not respond good at all with the fire side, right? Some people respond better with the ice side. Some people don't value or respond well to the ice side as well either, right? So if you think that you're just going to come through the world and just have one ideology right I'm gonna be pure ice I'm gonna be pure fire right well you're gonna limit your capacity or you're gonna um, limit the people that you have around you right because you don't understand that people with different people would respond to different things right so you have to develop both there's no if ands or but buts about it right another way of saying it is like you have to develop your bad side and your good side Right? Whether you guys realize it or not. Some people only understand a punch in the face, right? 
people some people only understand getting cursed out, right? From whatever it is, how they were raised, the environments they're in, right? The people that were over them cussed them out to make them do what they want needed to do, right? They put hands on them to see or to get to make them understand something, right? So when they come into a situation, right, where it's just cordial people, right? They're not in those instincts anymore, right? Where you gotta yell 24 seven, right? So if you come to them with ice, right, which your good side, you can say, hey, you know, I really don't like your behavior. Could you please stop it? Uh, it's hurting our business. Could you please um, just tone it down a little bit, right? The person that was brought up in the getting cursed out, get putting hands on them, they're gonna look at that and be like, nah, he didn't really mean that because he didn't curse me out or put hands on me. Right? His understand his or hers understanding is screwed up, right? So what happens is that person talks to that person and they don't they're not getting the same result. They're not responding well to it, right? And so person A goes, okay, I'm gonna curse out. I'm, I'm tired of this shit, I'm tired of this shit. I'm gonna curse him out. And so he gets mad, curses out worker A, or worker, the worker, right? And then the worker gets in line. So he then figures something out. Okay, with that person, yelling works, right? Then you got another person over here, right? And you leave with the fire side. Think people were okay. I got this guy to respond to fire. Maybe this person will respond well to fire as well. So you go over there and yelling at them, and their work gets worse, right? And then you go over to per that person and be like, Hey, I'm sorry for yelling, I didn't really mean it to go that way. What I was really trying to say is, You were struggling, you're, you're struggling with X, Y, and Z. Could you please um, up your efforts in that? department so we can become better as a whole, right? Next thing you know, that person is off to the race. Next, next thing you know, they're leading the company in something, or whatever it is, right? These are the conversations. These are the things you have to notice, right? To be good at the social game, right? And now, I'm not saying be good at it to manipulate people or anything like that. That's not the goal of this video, right? Now, unfortunately, there's some people, some bad people in the world that are going to use manipulative tactics anyway, right? And you need to be aware of that, right? But these are the things that you have to be privy to, things that you have to notice, right? Because these, this one thing, the fire and ice, can solve how you deal with your friends, your family, your children, to get different results out of it, right? And so, I was gonna talk about going into something about why assholes win, but I'm not gonna go into that on this video. I feel like I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish in this video. So, that's my video. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share the video, like the video for this social game. Um, and I'll be back with another one. You guys have a good day, good week. Yeah.